Hello and welcome to Transport Fever 2 here on a raw slow gaming where we will be taking it raw and slow just as well I like at least and I hope you do to do that as well. Uh, we have started a new free game on a extra large map the 2 to 1 ratio and we have enabled all vehicles uh, using Swedish names for the towns, just so you will get a little bit of treat to that or something. I think that might be a little bit funny for you to hear me say uh, the names in Swedish, maybe. Uh, and I saw that actually there are a few names that are in Finnish as well. Uh, and that will be super tricky for me actually to say correctly, but uh, bear with me. I think that will be fun nonetheless. And we have 5 million, million to start with and 5 million in uh, available, uh, available loan to take out. Uh, further to that, so 10 million and medium is going to be a little bit tricky, of course, uh, as it always is. I have the game paused at the moment and you have this date, uh, date speed that you can change up to four times the speed, up to down to past or one quarter of the speed. And since we like it to run slow, we will do one quarter of the speed throughout this gameplay uh, without changing that anything. Uh, what we will change, of course, from time to time is uh, is the speed of uh, the game that we're all, well, the speed of, <laughs> that we are running the game at, so to say. And as I said, a two to one and it's dry format and it's, uh, high frequencies of towns i don't really think that there is that many on this map uh, even though we have set it to that and the seed is actually raw slow gaming if you want to do, to play the same map just so you know and uh, yeah i think the easiest place for us to start is around this area so i'm thinking that we will start with fall shopping to cerna and uh, I think we will uh, do a passenger line service uh, with trains because that is how I want to start it and start to set it up for passenger development. Uh, of course, to do that properly here in this game, you actually need uh, freight as well. And we will definitely take a look at that as soon as possible after we gotten in uh, the passenger line. Uh, what I do think is that we will extend this line towards Backe uh, sooner or later, uh, probably a little bit later, since we kind of want to go through this ridge, which will cost us a little bit rather than going around. Uh, and then we, I think we will do a main line that starts from either Sarna or Fall Shopping and run it north in the map here uh, and having a look here on uh, the south side we will try to do something smart about this as well uh, further down the line but i think we'll start and focus here to this area so with that said let's zoom in here and have a look at the phone shopping uh, so we will basically follow this uh, road that is already in place I think uh, and I think we will get away with demolishing pieces here um, yeah I kind of, I would like to delete this but not losing the houses uh, that's a bit unnecessary so I think we'll basically plop in a station at uh, that place. So let's see here. We'll have buildings and we will have a passenger station. And we will set it up with uh, four tracks. Is that going to be enough? So I think we will probably run How many lines will we run from there? I think we will run maybe one main line and then one or two branches off and then maybe good. So yeah, I think that we need to do like four, 
four lines, but we don't. We might not need uh, or use the fourth fourth line as a, as a, as a passenger line. That might be a good line. So we'll set up for that. So let's see here. We'll turn this around. So we'll have it pointing somewhere along the lines of that. Is that correct? Let's see here. Just my, yeah, this is decent. Decent placement. Sorry, getting used to the camera action here or how the camera works. Um, so I think that will be, yeah, I think that will actually work very fine for us and um, let's see here so let's uncheck this um, let's uh, configure on this so we got this uh, new modular feature uh, which is very nice indeed i will just add in uh, uh, the forced uh, forced uh, track there so with that in place, we can do a little bit of a town development here, so to say. Uh, cutting off the connection to to that mine, iron mine, doesn't really matter at the moment. We will not focus on that. And what we will do though is building in a road here. Um, this will be like a main main uh, line later here so i think we'll pretty much bang that in straight straight away uh, so we can get in uh or how is the coverage here actually let's check that first oh, pressing all the wrong buttons here so we've got actually sort of decent uh catchment here uh, but i think uh, uh, a terminal is of course going to be helpful and down the line and not if if uh, nothing else so we'll have a bus bus and tram station uh, we'll do two platforms on both sides uh, should be helpful to us right so this actually fits in really good don't know why it changes everything like that but uh, we will have it like that uh, and that will be really good for future growth here uh, so we burned so far through around half a million uh, and uh, that is just the start so then Serna we want to have where do we want to have you and starting? I think we could have it. Yeah, we could definitely have it over here. So actually demolishing this this part and having it connect to here will be definitely decent. Uh, and we will have. Now well, the question is, is though. We want that. Yeah, we have this farm here that we don't really want to to destroy or do anything about. Um, so I think placing a platform here or a station on the right side might be good. And that pretty much sets us up for going around here rather than through the mountain here even though that would certainly be more exciting uh, we could maybe bend off this way with the track in uh, in the future if we when we expand uh, so that's not impossible uh, we do have the mountain of course going through there as well so uh, so for that reason a placement over here would be better then we got to go around this farm, I said. And how how much do we want to do that? We could go around the farm. 
and take a little bit longer route to get in somewhere around here. And I have a much better line for connection. Yeah, we will go with that actually. So let's see here. Should we destroy that and place the station in here pretty much? I think we might do that actually. So next uh, head will be this. And here we have some slope to take into consideration, I see. And we can try to get that in as close as possible, or maybe a little bit out, so something like that. Yeah, that should be good. And then we'll add in a little bit of street here. So we'll do a large street, just like that. And we'll do a building and we'll do the same here. Sorry for the shoddy camera work here again. Uh, yeah, I think that will work out decently well. Yeah. So there we go. We have the stations needed to set things up, or not really. We have the biggest stations needed to set things up. Now, of course. <laughs> when I placed this, uh, I didn't look at the farm. So there we have a problem. So where is the line up? The line is there. So uh, I guess we will use the utmost track here. And uh, we will, let's see here. 105. 110, 114. So that's almost full speed track. And that's full speed. So this will be. Oh, this is expensive. Don't really want it to be that expensive at the moment. And we don't really want to be doing level crosses, but it's 1850 guys, so we are going to do level crossings here uh, for sure. So let's see here. Can we get away? No, that's not expensive for some reason. So level crossing here. There we go. And a hook around something like that. Uh, now the question is, which line should we go in on? We took the furthest on the left. Yeah, we'd, we're not really likely to, to connect to anything else uh, that way. Uh, could be some good freight further down the line, but then we can change the or configure the station up to suit that. So with that in, we will add in a depot. Uh, we will add it pretty much in the middle of the, the line here. Uh, so let's add that in. Something like that. And the other way around, I guess, then. Or not. Let's do something like this. Is that correct? No, it's not. Damn it. Um, let's see here. Let's fix that. There we go. And let's have the depot. There we go. So uh, let's create the line next. Uh, font shopping to Sarna. And let's name that. So what should, should we call it? Oh, this is the wrong line. 
that we have here new line and no not new line damn it add station add station phone shopping to the sauna there we go so what to call it We'll call it just fall to sir. Uh, like that. And we'll, what train will we buy then? I think we will go with uh, what will we go? Will we go with the Russian? I spent 12 years. I will definitely go with the Russian. A little bit less uh, power than the rest, but best attractive effort and the highest speed. Uh, and the action, the best lifespan as well, and lowest lowest cost here. So the Russian definitely the train to go with. And I will add some stage or some uh, passenger cars. And the only passenger car able to do more than 40 is this one. Which um, is unfortunately a little bit of a shame because that is so much more expensive. And have a short lifespan as well. Uh, we'll just uh, skip it and we'll actually do We'll do the smallest coach cars here, actually, since they are um, the least in weight and they're filling up quite nicely, nonetheless. So, how much will we do here? 48 capacity, 54, 60. 60 should be more than enough at the moment. Uh, so, we'll buy one for. 1.6 million and uh, we'll put you on the line and uh, we'll start up the game to run here a little bit slowly and we'll set up the the, the internal alliance for the towns here very shortly with uh, some trucks or oh, not trucks passengers passenger uh, vehicles or some uh, buses basically but uh, they weren't really buses uh, this year, so to say. So looking at the train, taking the maiden voyage here. So definitely a lot of uh, um, passenger cars here. Uh, I think it's four. Yeah, it should be 10, 10 or is it more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 pieces and got 60 how is that possible yeah it was six per per uh, vehicle and there we got lost 22k on uh, on one single time period so to say so let's see here uh, let's set up uh, Serna here next I guess and uh, this is uh, the bigger town of the two so this will be vital to set things uh, around here uh, so I think uh, we'll add in the road here for them like that and then we should add in no buildings uh, bus tram stop I uh, will uh, take off the tip. Uh, so we probably have a little bit of coverage over here. Um, but we kind of want coverage over here also. So I think that we will add in stop. Let's see here. I think we will take uh, like a loop, right hand a loop around here. So we'll add in another street over here uh, I see and that that creates quite a big lump there but um, 
it will have it to do. And let's see here. Let's have uh, that on that side, of course. So I don't understand this this coverage. Sometimes it's uh, really strange. Pretty much this will cover the rest of the line, so that will be good. And we'll set one up just here. And then we of course need a road depot. Uh, we might use this form, so let's actually set up the road depot reasonably close to that said form. So we'll set that up right there. Uh, we'll close that out. We'll do actually we need to do a line out of that first, of course. So let's see here. Uh, we will start here and go finish at Cerno Holt. Um, yeah, we'll maybe <laughs> rename the the. The roads and uh, stops and things like that later. So this will be Sir Commuter now. Uh, what will this be? This will be Circle Circle Sir. Like that. Uh, we'll add in a few buses by vehicle or, yeah, <laughs> horse drawn carriage. That is uh, rather to be correct. Uh, or a stagecoach. Let's see here. We will do. What will we do? Yeah, we'll do. Uh, I like the stagecoach, so I think we'll do that. Uh, we'll do how many will we do four sure let's do four that's probably actually let's see here can I get back to no there we go uh, no sell them yeah I think three will be not be enough I think four is overkill And let's check out uh, how we are doing or check out the uh, fall shopping. But let's see here, how many, we've got five waiting already. And the train should of course be empty. No, we actually picked one up from uh, fall shopping. So that's nice. Uh, what happened here? Now all vehicles to the line. There we go. So let's see here, how oh, passenger transport, all right, so we get that number for that all the time. That's inter interesting. Uh, so for phone shopping, I think we need to add in a few stops here also. This is the f for a smaller city, uh, so we're actually covering in everything with one more stop there. So we'll do just that. Uh, so a small, small, small line for that new line. And it will be circle, fall, uh, like that. Uh, we'll add in that two will be more than enough there. More than enough. So I'm doing... I'm doing actually, we'll do only one for circle fall there. So there we go. Uh, how many? Six waiting. Uh, so, what do these guys need? They need bread, machines, goods, and I actually don't know what that is. Oil, no fuel. Uh, so, 75. Yeah, Cerno is, um, as I said, much, much, much bigger. 
Um, so, what do we need? We need goods and bread or food. Food should be a pretty easy thing to do. And here we got that in actually. Uh, food or grain to food here. Um, or from there. Now, this is sort of a problem, but is it that we have, have set this up as we have? I don't think it is. So what would happen if we were to add in a good station here, cargo station? If I were just to connect it to something like that. In line with this one. Collision. Yeah, I guess you gotta be on the other side though. So if we were just doing like one, maybe two lines. And swing this around a little bit. And connect it to here. How will that work? I think that actually will be very interesting also. All right, so let's see here. Uh, let's see here a little bit better. So we get an interesting and a good fit here for uh, this, uh, this good station. So if we add it in something like that. We do have connection to the farm. We're able to do things around it, so to say. Yeah, that is going to be interesting. So we could, could, how, how are we going to do this though? How much catchment do you got on the goods? Supply. Let's see here. Let's check out this layer here actually. Um, so the industrial area, or is it the commercial area that wants this food? How do I know which buildings takes food? That's the question. Commercial building, all right. All right, commercial buildings need that and they are all focused on here. Uh, so we have bread coming from here. We could run a service that that uh, that connects to here. Oh, and we have a port situation here, or a possible port situation for uh, this line. Um, so we probably let's let's dive in and get that station in first. Uh, so pretty close to the water, I would say. So something like that, but we want it, of course, to be. We want it to be an end station, something like that. Now would this connect? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of. Um, no, that's outside. No catchment. That isn't. All right. So. So 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 so. I don't really want to do. So if we were to do something like this then, when are we having catchment? We are having catchment quite far out actually. Uh, and that will definitely have catchment for a, for a harbor. And I, I just placed it, oh well. <laughs> what can go wrong? Mm, 
quite a bit, but uh, we'll get to that when uh, when we do fail or something. So four waiting there. Uh, we have three going around, and we are stable. How many did you get? Managed to get on seven. So that's not too great, but we've got eight waiting here now. It's actually decent. It's down 260k. We got 12 waiting here on the bus. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to get to over here, of course. But uh, that should be all right. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, let's get in this uh, track here. So we will start on uh, the left line here. Uh, we've got some terrain there to go through. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we can f continue this in a pretty straight line, actually. Uh, we have some terrain there again, but that seems fine to me. So we'll just bang it in. Uh, that looks actually quite damn on right as well. A little bit of a hump here going into the station, but uh, that's fine. So, would we be able to... We can definitely have a line coming off from here. Just to get the, the, the train in here. Come on, to the track. Let's snap to the track. There you go. So we have a connection to that line. Uh, and with that, we could also reach this this station for uh, goods if that were something we would want to do. Uh, but what we probably could do, of course, is to load it back here, uh, the food, and uh, then truck it out to Serna, to the right place. We don't really want to do that. Well, frames is so much better overall, but uh, it could definitely be an idea to do that. Uh, so let's uh, let's get a new line for that also. So let's see here. Do Serna Exchange to what will this be called then? Serna Branch. All right, so. This will be food. Uh, or food production, maybe. Production. Sad. Like that. Uh, we will do a train there. Uh, then we are going to need a few signals. Let's actually pause it for one second. Uh, we will need to loan quite a bit more. Uh, we will pretty much uh, be out of money after this setup. Uh, but we'll see here uh, what were we going to do? Yeah, buy a train. So for uh, locomotives, we'll uh, do the Russian since that is absolutely the smartest. Uh, cargo types. And the smaller one is not really better, so we will go with the bigger one here. Uh, big, bigger boxcar. Uh, because, well, we could do gondola, no, we can't. Oh, we actually need, yeah, that's right, we need two types of, uh, of uh, cargos to pull this off. Uh, and two food crates one uh, well two two grain crates one food so uh, we will have to double up on uh, that so let's do this correct again so russian class and we'll do the small or the big box car or will we what about the gondolas yeah they are all big 
or are working in the same way. Sort of, at least. It's the weight, though. The weight. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll do with small ones. We'll do the small ones, so we'll do... No, that's still wrong. Small one, I said. Uh, so, how much will we do? So we've got 160 long, and this is poor, mediocre. Uh, I don't really want to go over mediocre. So gondola, or worse than mediocre, just mediocre. Uh, Yeah, so you actually get a lot of stats here, uh, but uh, yeah, we will do uh, do this. So it's really a pretty darn small train, and with that done, I think we'll definitely go with uh, with. Uh, What will we go with? We'll definitely go with uh, uh, trucks. And let's see here. So we will have. Where would we have it? Got to think. Uh, this should be pointing to. No. What direction should it point? Yeah, to that direction. And you should point to that direction. And um, yeah, you are going to have to wait all the way there. And uh, that's just how it's going to be. That's fine. And um, let's set up the food production here a little bit faster. And uh, so we need a truck station here. Uh, we don't need. Oh, well, you never know, but I think we'll be happy with just one. And you have connection to everything there, and that's fine. Truck and load stop. We will do that over here somewhere. So I feel like kind of like this really should be done. Done by um, train to here, but uh, oh well. I will do it there for whatever reason. We got the highest uh, throughput there. So are you moving? Yes, you are. That's good. So we will do next line here. And uh, we'll do... What will we do? We will do turn annex to Korsvägen. So Korsvägen, that's definitely an easy way uh, or thing to say. So uh, cargo, all are the same here, pretty much. Running years, lifespan, everything. No, Asian drone is the one with the best uh, lifespan. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll do, would we do three? Yeah, we'll do three vehicles on uh, that line. And we'll put it to line one, which it definitely is not called. And this is uh, food. This this distribution. Uh, Serna. Ser. Yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, that will be everything for this episode. So if you want to see more and see if what we set up here actually will work um, you gotta check in to the next episode so with that said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye you have been watching rollsclaw gaming and i hope you have enjoyed on clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel and with that 
said, thank you again for watching.